uncouth wretch. You, good sir, you who live in such a tomb. Ah, you will find the legendary lost play. Splendid. Finally, tragedy and comedy will come together. Turn back now, mortal one. Stay away from this accursed place. Only death and insanity await you. Don't pick it up. No, really, I'm serious. Just can't leave well enough alone, can you? Bloody literary tourists, bane of my afterlife. Listen, you. You're not getting my lost play, you hear? It's rubbish. Worse than rubbish. I mean, what was I thinking mixing tragedy and comedy? I must have been off my rocker. It would seem, my dear fellow, you have been apprehended by the ghost of Philip Morley. That makes us both his captives. I am Ransom Locke. If the name seems familiar, it is because I was once a detective of some renown. And yet, here I am, ready to live out the rest of my days, trapped in a book. As far as I can deduce, we are currently in a scene from one of Morley's greatest romantic plays, the near tragedy of Oliver and Ethel. I believe if we are to escape, we must act out the scene. But performing is not one of my talents. If I am correct, Putting on this costume should set things in motion. My life, my son, if thou wouldst but give me one sign, one gesture that would speak of your affections, then might I think this grey existence worth living. Ah, uh, yes, a classic moment in the play. You are Ethel, the beautiful young daughter of a dung merchant. Show Oliver that you love him, and we may be able to leave this scene. Let the heavens and the seas, the toads and the eels sing the song in my heart, for she doth love me and all is well. We shall meet again in the morrow, my little ferret, and elope into the sunset to live out our days in wondrous joy. A magnificent rendition. True, I applaud you. Hmm. I see you are gifted with remarkable literary cunning, but can you really comprehend the depths of my work? That we shall see. Ah, yes. This is undoubtedly a scene from one of Morley's earlier, funnier plays, Bloodbath at the Royal Court. And this must be your costume. The role of the fool is one filled with tragic depth. It will require a masterful performance.
What fresh insolence is this? Out of my throne, you impertinent buffoon! Stand before your king and do your jester's duty. Tis a troublesome time for this court and my crown grows heavy. So make me laugh or I shall have your head. <laughs> oh, stop! It's too funny! I believe I'm in the right mood now to meet with those foreign delegates. I think I shall only behead half of them. Yes. I have never seen a more convincing fool. There is hope for us yet. Mm, you handle my royal dramas as well as you handle my romances. But will your versatility extend to the more subtle domains of theater, I wonder? Oh dear, unless I'm mistaken, this is a scene from Morley's notoriously violent historical epic, Titus the Mutilator, part two. Which would mean this is the gladiatorial arena from Act Five, where Titus is finally slaughtered by savage warriors seeking revenge. A favorite scene of mine as a child, I must admit. And here is Titus's famous costume. I had some pajamas that looked just like it. Put it on and you will take on the greatest role of your life. Titus! Thy pox-membered body shall pay for thy monstrous villainy. My son lies dead because of you. Now shall revenge be mine. Cold is your corpse and all the more flavorsome for it. Do try to make your demise convincing. So we're dead meat! Whoa. performance. That's just the ending I wanted to see when I was a young boy attending the theatre every weekend. I wonder what scene will follow now. Oh, what 
scene could possibly follow such a masterful rendition of my work. And the way you improvised some of those roles, you brought new life to my words. I stand in awe. You have earned the prize no mortal has ever been honored with before. My missing play. I entrust it to you, for I know that you will do it justice. I call it the Ham Sandwich. A metaphorical title, of course. You have retrieved our aged investigator. Happy day! Have you perchance found... This is no time for perchances, Lambert. The play, do you have it? We're safe, Lambert. Oh, the joy in my bosom knows no bounds. Thank you a million times. Thank you. <laughs> His head bosom is already working. Comedy and tragedy will at last join hands. Bear witness to the tragic futility that is man. Oh, how it doth sear my senses to see paradise and yet to be barred. That reminds me of a great joke. A guard, a monk, and a chicken walk into a bar. Unfortunately, the bartender had had a mild heart attack that morning, so none of them get served. And yet what purpose doth heartache serve when the infinite dark blanket that is death Fall softly upon our still beating corpse. That reminds me of another one. A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? Certainly, replies the bartender. I've never seen a stiff drink. And so endeth our happy, sad play, which reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say, Great big giant bosoms! What the hell was that? Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. It didn't even make sense. Worst play ever. Well done. You have gathered quite an impressive following in Brightwall. This should be more than enough to convince this little hamlet to send aid to the dwellers. I believe Samuel awaits you at the town. ...gates to express that very sentiment. So, what shall you do now, Mr. Locke? Any more mysteries on the horizon? I rather think not. My powers of reasoning and deduction diminish with each passing day. Investigation is a young man's game. Well, how would you like...